Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Cowboy Bebop episode number 25 and 26. That is the last two episodes. And this will be the end. So obviously the previous episode which is episode number 24 was uh, depressing as I can as far as I can say because obviously uh, like them leaving like that was really something that uh, I don't know that is not something that I really wanted like no one wanted I doubt anyone wanted that and <clears throat> I hoped at least like they should like be together uh, until the end like I like wish they would be together until the end ending episodes but I doubt they're going to return because I don't know I just feel it like Ed and uh, I just went on their own way and Faye, I'm not sure what Faye is going to do now. Like she, like at least Ayn and um, uh, Ed has some place to go. They like, uh, Ed will go to her dad most probably. Like that's the only thing I, I can see him, her doing. And as uh, as the like orphanage uh, lady said that she is like a cat. Like she comes, stays for like one or two years. Like, and then again, like leaves like that so like uh the thing with ed is still i don't know like she can get somewhere but the like the matter with like the thing with Faye is something that i really don't what she will do i don't know what she will do because she has nowhere to go where is she going to what is she going to do now most probably go back to her own like life before they met them like the uh, Bpop crew that is like I don't know work alone so yeah I don't know like th th that was like a depressing episode anyways um without further ado um let's get started with uh, this is episode number 25 so let's get started all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> okay. And they're back to the two people again, that is Jet and Spike. So, yeah, Ayn was like their first addition to the crew. Then came Faye, then Ed. Oh boy. I'm not even sure if they will show like Faye and Ed in these last two episodes. Uh, maybe in the last episode after everything, like after the like almost like that when the anime ends, maybe at the end we will see them. Who knows? Okay. <sighs> okay, this will be I'm um, thinking Spice Past, most probably, because two episodes are left, or else when are they going to show it? Ah, there it is she is. Her name was Julia, wasn't it? Yeah. Elders. The real folk blues. Oh, part one. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Raven? 
Oh yeah, this is vicious. Hmm. Yep, this is vicious. Okay, what is he up to now? Oh, what the? What are those things? Night of Night. Oh, okay. Hmm. Punishment chamber. Oh. Okay, I'm guessing the like this old guy is like the top of the <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, he's captured. I was not expecting that. All right. Hmm. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. Okay, wow. <laughs> oh Most probably Oh What the Oh my god Surrounding them Oh Oh my god Here Lin Wait what Oh okay So he is the ally Yeah. Oh, vicious is yeah because of that. Hmm. What about jet? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, so we're like, they were planning a coup d'etat. And, um, alright. So, as I say, the enemy of an enemy is a friend, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But past will always come to haunt him if he doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, like these type of doctors usually don't diverge anything.
Okay. Okay, so All right, so this is what happened But he himself has tried to like do a coup d'etat What? Oh, I think that is the time when uh, he was like apparently betrayed, Spike was. Like, he said that he'll meet Julia in the graveyard or whatever. And then we saw a flashback before where like Vicious was like almost killing uh, uh, Spike, Spike kind of fell down from the top. I think was that the betrayal that Julia did or something like that? And Spike kind of like, oh, Faye. Wait, she's in an airport? Okay. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting her to like turn up this episode, but Oh well. What? What? Oh, wait. Oh, she's coming back? Oh my god, it is... What the... No... They're not there. She herself uh, told them that... Oh, wait! Oh, okay, I was not expecting this as well. Like, suddenly Julia popping out like this. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's a grenade launcher, what the? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh boy. Name. All right, a few unexpected things happened in this episode. Is happening in this episode, which I never thought would happen. Yeah, I was thinking like <laughs> popping off. 
tires Uh. Nope. All right, uh, is she going to? Okay, here it is. Uh, does does she remember? He doesn't remember, or did, did she even hear the name from Spike or someone else? Yeah, in the picture, I'm guessing. Oh, she knows. Okay. Well, this is going in an unexpected direction. I was not expecting something like this. Like I never thought like Spike would suddenly contact Faye, but obviously like uh, Jet is in trouble and Ed and Nine is not here. So yeah, and Spike has his own job to do. So. Pure white. Okay. Oh, Kilimanjaro. What? Oh. It's ironic because he was also the same a few days ago. <sighs> what I believed. Say, I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, <laughs> you probably said that. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah. Oh my god, so they're coming after Spike? Yeah, oh my god. 
I was thinking they're probably going to have a fight between Vicious and like Spike, but turns out that's not going to be the case. Oh. oh, what the? Are they coming after them? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, but first you have to like handle these guys. Wait, is Vicious going to die? I was. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, the raven. What? Oh! What the hell? Oh my god. Wait, so that raven was a mechanical some kind of thing which had bombs in it. Oh. Oh, the goddamn. Okay, here, there you go. Well, vicious, so vicious turned like it turned out to be like vicious one then. And okay, so Vicious took control. All right. Oh no. Did Vicious order this? Like now he's in the top. Alright, let's see. Okay, um now there's a few confusions I still have. Uh, number one that uh the that was a flashback, wasn't it? Uh, in one of the episodes we saw when like Vicious and um Spike fighting then the glass kind of like blasting off spike falling down from the top and vicious like pointing a, his gun at uh spike 
um okay so just a sec i thought maybe uh like spike told julia to be there for quite a like a long while ago and i thought maybe like she betrayed him after that so that is the reason why like spike is like now hanging out with jet and all but it turns out she never like came to the grave like graveyard this is the first time she has is like here as like uh, because uh, julia said that uh, tell spike i'll always be waiting there so that means she never went she ne never went there before this is the first time she is here so like the like impression i like had like i kind of made a theory that uh, julia betrayed him and that is the reason why like uh, he i don't know like kind of went into hiding and is like uh, hanging out with uh, jet now and trying to find julia again but turns out that uh, that was not the case like that is just me making up making something up in my mind and it is not the case because obviously this is the first time that uh, they're meeting uh, otherwise she wouldn't have said the word that i'll uh, always be waiting uh, in the graveyard so okay so now so okay let me just like think like think about what actually happened um spike and julia and vicious were in the syndicate uh they like did jobs and everything for the syndicate uh and i think spike thought of like maybe cutting himself off from the syndicate and asked julia to accompany him which julia was not like uh ready to do and then spike like uh told her to like wait in the graveyard and said that come with me and left the syndicate and i think that is the reason why vicious and all of them were like after him because he left the syndicate and after then i uh, like uh, spike maybe like was in hiding and met jet on the way and after that like they met uh, after meeting jet they met uh, ein um ed uh, fay all of these things happened and now like julia is has come to the graveyard and they are like confronting each other and like in the meantime uh, vicious was busy doing like making the preparations for the coup d'etat and he like became successful in it and i'm guessing he also gave an order to julia to like confront spike and kill him maybe this is the like the whole thing that is happening if i am wrong about anything be sure to correct me down in the comment section uh, because as far as i understood this is what happened because uh like the whole uh, past of spike is a bit i don't know like scattered around so uh, it's a bit difficult to piece it all together so because which is past which is present which is uh, i don't know uh, like it's quite scattered around so it's a bit difficult to chronologically uh, arrange it and understand it but i think it is something like that it wait, went like this and now is the time like uh, spike is confronting julia and like vicious has completed the coup d'etat and has like is in power now all right and i'm also i was also thinking maybe vicious will not be able to survive but turns out he did pretty well and he survived and most probably in the next episode we're going to see vicious versus spike who knows uh because obviously vicious is like a like a main antagonist or the main villain of the story i think so usually in animes like not in animes like in any type of uh like story uh like the final confrontation is between the main villain and the like protagonist so i'm guessing that's going to happen as well who knows i was like in this episode i was thinking maybe that's not going to happen because uh, vicious is going to die but turns out <laughs> the raven saved him kind of and yeah anyways guys uh so like oh another thing i was really not expecting to fail to turn out like turn up just like that and like i was also not expecting Faye and julia meeting like that's another unexpected thing and uh so Faye came back i think will also ed come back like this i don't know <laughs> who knows we'll see in the next episode what happens actually happens and i'm also not sure if they will stay with them or maybe like after 
like talking and like after his her job is done maybe she'll like try to leave again mm, let's see like we're, we're all like we're at the last episode so yeah uh, so anyways guys uh that was episode number 25 so the final episode episode number 26 of cowboy Beepop. um let's go all right so yeah guys uh, i'll be putting in subtitles and the timer here to sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go oh we won't get the intro song yep excuse me okay that day okay oh she did not come up oh all right she did not turn up okay Okay, so Vicious ordered her at that time to kill him, but she did not. The real flow for blues part two. Yep, it's all over. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, well, oh, no. Oh. Oh my god, is he shot? Yeah. Oh my god, the temperature, body temperature falling, ah, oh, is that? What is that? Oh, weapons. Yeah, the past won't stop following him otherwise.
Oh, they're already here. Oh. <laughs> Devilish angel. Okay, well, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, the ravens. Is Vicious here? Okay. Oh. Oh, oh no. Did she get shot? Oh no. Oh my god. Oh. That was the last guy. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, they were trying to run away, but unfortunately, I don't know what like Spike is going to do now. Most probably try to go get revenge or something. Running rock. Wow, that's some like. Interesting uh, words.
Oh boy, yeah, like I am sure he's going to give go the revenge path. Oh, Spike's here? <laughs> Jai, this is... I think he has come here to like say some last goodbye or something. Tiger striped cat. Oh. his story yeah it's his own story Oh, wait. Oh my god. Oh my god.
Oh my god, this is going in a bad direction. Oh! My god. And boom. Oh, oh no, and, oh, someone, and there. Uh... Oh, oh no, not, okay, oh, Oh no, his vision. Okay, oh boy. Oh no. This is a disadvantage. Uh, short. Long range versus short range. Oh no. Oh my. Oh. 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 Where where did you get him? Vital point or So Vicious is dead? Oh my god. Oh. Oh god damn it like Like everything kind of got like 
scattered in the end like everything was like moving in a like good pace no, not good pace but in a good collected manner and suddenly the last two episodes came in last uh, three episodes came Faye went her own way Edine went away then Faye comes back and now <laughs> Spike dies Like, like vicious is coup data. Like, what what purpose that did that serve then? Like he's dead now. I think he's dead, isn't he? And Spike's dead as well. That's it. Like one thing we could should like get from this is like never dealt like like I don't know like. Uh, Try to catch your past so much that it will like mess with you. Like Spike himself kind of gave this lesson to A, but he himself unfortunately did not have that thing in him to like apply it in his own life. Because like the thing that Faye said in this episode, like you yourself told me to like leave my past back and like Faye did not do that Faye went to like left them went to the, her own house and found out that everything is gone there's nothing left and he under she understood that this is what Spike was trying to tell her like do not chase your past so much and she comes back after realizing that and after taking Spike's lesson to heart but coming back she sees that Spike himself is doing the same mistake that she did and like her learning through making the mistake was something that was not life threatening like she went to her house saw there is nothing that left she was sad she understood her like the thing that she did and she went back to the place where she belonged but unfortunately in Spike's case the him making the same mistake was life threatening because the way she he was involved in his past was something dangerous and he lost his life because of that and like Faye knew that and that was the reason why she was trying to stop him because the same person who let her learn this lesson made her learn this lesson was trying to make the same mistake and she knew that this is one mistake after if he, if he makes it then he won't be able to come back <sighs> like looking at it like that um spike kind of like made everyone learn this lesson like jet himself was trapped in his past and he like learned how to give up on her his past and like start anew same with Faye um and f I don't think Ayn or uh, not Ayn uh, Ed like Ed is I'm not sure like about Ed's case like it seemed as she is going to live with her dad but I doubt she's going to stay with him because obviously she herself is kind of like a wandering kind of kid like a, a vagabond type of a person like goes one place stays for a few days oh my god <sighs> you're gonna carry that weight Oh my god, like obviously uh, like like I understood from like this episode from the start of this episode that this is going to like happen like he's going to turn up dead so that is the reason why like I don't know like because this is something that was set in stone I'm just feeling bad like 
I'm not f feeling sad, but like bad, like it's a weird type of emotion. Like, uh, from at the beginning of the episode, I thought maybe like he is not going to survive because of how it is playing out. But when like they he met to Julia and like I I thought maybe he and like Julia would have this kind of confrontation something, and Julia would somehow kill him or something. But turns out like she, like it turned out like Julia was like uh like ready to go with him like to leave the place and then i kind of thought maybe they are going to like run away and like this story will end like this and uh maybe i don't know like i thought maybe it was going to happen something like this but obviously the past is something that they had to confront but uh like being with julia i thought maybe spike was going to forget about his past and like go on their way but Ju like julia being killed was the one thing that like again dragged spike back down like uh like spike's past was already dragging her down dragging him down uh julia was the only thing that kind of like was like dragging him down and when he met with julia he was ready to like let go of that past and start anew but her dying suddenly again like m like made the shackles behind his like on his throat and like like push pulled him into the past again and that's how like he again got dragged into this uh, mess whole mess and like him like another thing in this like episode was when he was narrating the story of the like cat or like tiger or whatever to jet obviously it was his story but he was also like narrating that because like I don't know he himself wanted to I think um, understand his own intentions and also wanted to inform this to Jet uh, by saying that uh, after the like female uh, like cat died um, the like lion uh, not lion <laughs> the tiger cried and then he died and then he never like wasn't reborn like that was him saying that unless and until I like like go and confront my past to go into this dangerous like death mission of like uh, confronting vicious uh, like he was sure that he won't be able to survive and he just made that intention clear to jet and Faye was also I, I, i'm hoping Faye was also eavesdropping i think at that time so he kind of like said that to make the intentions clear to himself um jet and fay and after getting that resolve or whatever he like started walking on the path uh to his end like the path to towards his end and uh, yeah like it turns out like julio was the thing what which was also keeping him alive like uh like thinking about the whole thing we might like like we might think it as if like Julia was the one who is kind of the reason for his downfall but that is not the case at all because even though it was kind of because of Julia he was always like being shackled to the past and everything it was also Julia who was keeping him alive he was like not reckless he was like like he tried to keep himself safe but Julia dying kind of like cut that thing out and he became this kind of a person who I don't know like um I don't know like the security factor went out the window and he like went to confront vicious because obviously Julia is dead so yeah like <laughs> that was why like he kind of I think kind of like gave up in the end It's, it's like a sad ending like what even like what was the purpose of all of this like not only spike i'm talking about vicious as well like he did all of these coup d'etat and everything like to like stand in the top of the uh, like syndicate and it turns out like I really don't know what Vicious's plan was uh, uh, also because obviously it seemed as if he was also like this kind of a guy who was shackled to his past. He wanted to confront Spike and like the coup d'etat was I think something which was secondary to him because it seemed as if he was waiting for Spike 
and he said something like he'll come back so yeah like so as jet said like i think it it's it, jet said this didn't he that uh, men are like stupid creatures who always try to um like i don't know who always drags the past around with them and that's basically it like each and every person was like being dragged by their past in this show um jet spike uh julia was also kind of being dragged down by the past because uh like that was also something that uh, like made julia go to the graveyard and like he she decided to go like run away with spike uh, that was also her being shackled by her past spike even vicious like uh, i think vicious's uh thing was only like um shackled like he was shackled to spike not his past uh, not his own past but spike so like he did everything he got the top position and then he dies so yeah like this was like uh, like this was something like as as it's, it is said like revenge and like clinging to the past is kind of uh like like fool's work like you should definitely like like you should always obviously like keep your past or, like remember your past but not be so engrossed in it that you like forget each and everything and like only um care about the past and i think uh julia said kind of made it that way if julia was alive i doubt something like this would have happened like spike wouldn't have like rushed to his death uh he who knows maybe to confront his own past he would have like made some plan because obviously like uh like he would try to keep himself alive so that he could run away with julia so his own security his own safety would also come at a priority list because his priority list was uh like like him keeping himself alive was not in his priority list uh after julia died so yeah this is like a i don't know like a weird type of yeah like a bad way to go i don't know i like it's kind of a hollow feeling like like from the beginning of the episode I, I i i i knew it like something like this is going to happen like this won't get a happy ending because the way it was playing out was really like indicating that but like the way i was thinking it was going to it it did not end like that it was kind of different but still the outcome is like the same like i never imagined fake coming back like that i also never imagined like julia dying like that i also like did not imagine uh, like i imagined this like i knew this like this will probably be a like final encounter between vicious and spike but like after all of the things that happened i was thinking maybe that's not going to happen but turns out it happened like that just as i like, thought but the f other things were not as i expected especially fake coming back that, like that was something i was really not expecting at all and like if a kind of like trying to stop spike and uh, by this uh, excuse me by this episode um i, I thought i don't know maybe uh, fake got the lesson like she like the lesson was that like the mistake she was making that she was also like running f towards her past where her past was not there like there was nothing left for her but she was still running that like silhouette of the past that after image of her past she was running like that and uh even in the beginning of the episode that was still apparent but in the end i think after he like came back saw spike like that i think she understood what she was doing wrong and uh, what she was doing was something that would really not produce any result and it would like only make her hurt more so her after understanding that she tried to stop spike from like, committing the same mistake but unfortunately she was unable to so yeah it's like uh like a person who i don't know like taught you something if that person makes the same mistake it's the feeling that you get like you have been taught by that person you have been uh, taught to make taught not to make a mistake by a person but after you have learned it to the hard way if you suddenly see that same person trying to make that mistake that he told you not to make 
it it's it would be an like unusual weird feeling it will be a sad like uh thing so yeah <laughs> anyways like now this one thing <laughs> I am really not good with bad endings like I always want a show to have a good ending because and that's why like I usually like I don't know do not watch shows which uh, have bad endings or something but but this show was kind of like that and like from the beginning of the like from the start of this when I started this like show the like atmosphere and each and everything kind of indicated that this would probably be like uh, a story which won't get a happy ending but still i kind of had a hope that maybe everything is going to be okay but turns out i was wrong and it kind of ended as i expected and <laughs> so yeah like i'm really not sure what to feel about this because a happy ending is like you get a happy ending and everything is like okay and you're happy everything is happy the characters in the show themselves are happy <laughs> it's all well and good but what do you actually feel when a show ends in a way like this like in a bad ending like not bad in that like case i'm saying bad ending by the meaning that uh like the characters like kind of ended up dead or like it ended like in a way that the characters were not happy that is a bad ending like a uh, good ending and bad ending uh, not literal, literal bad i'm just saying uh, it is as if like the way it ended so yeah so i'm really not sure what to feel about an ending like this like the show itself was amazing it was a uh, fast i don't know like like the genre itself was quite huge like it there were like happy like comedy filled uh, episodes there were which i was really not expecting from cowboy bebop like it was kind of like a old type of show and a kind of like a serious type of show so i was really not expecting comedy but like uh, in one of the episodes i like laughed so much in that episode with the, the like spike and confronting that guy <laughs> with you know, on the horse um like that was one of the funniest episodes i've seen that kind of weird type of episodes of like psychological type of thing where like uh, there was like the guy um like that fat type of magician uh, i can't remember the name sorry about that like there are a lot of characters in this show uh that episode like that was a weird creepy type of episode kind of like a psychological type of thing that um sad episodes um, happy episodes normal episodes like slice of life fee type of episodes like like each and everything was in this excuse me in this show so in that way the animation was amazing like this is a quite old show so the animation like really it, it is like something that shows us that um like that this is one of the top tier animation at least at that time like animation of that time uh, animation was good the soundtrack was amazing the characters were like really good like i really i i, I never thought like i would like faye so much like faye is one of my favorite characters like her complex type of character is something that really I don't know gives her uh like a, i don't know like it, it is really like good her character is really amazing uh like i re i even like like my Faye more than spike like spike was a good character but like Faye, like i think we got to see more of Faye uh, in this show like uh like Faye's emotions Faye's everything like we got to see and uh like spike ed uh, jet their backstories was also shown but i think like it like phase backstory was given a lot more like uh, was a lot more fleshed out lot more complete it was like uh something like well done really well done so that's the reason why i really like Faye a lot more than the all the other characters because her character her itself is quite interesting quite um I don't know like I like unexpected her character is really unexpected like the way like the, the person we see Faye Valentine uh that is not the person inside like that's the thing like i was really extremely like surprised when we saw that episode where we where she was seeing that uh, videotape of herself uh recording herself 
and like that really makes her a really complex type of a good type of character her character is well fleshed out so yeah good characters uh like this uh, like this anime was really ama amazing like uh i don't know what to say like uh, comparing it to a few animes like that are like that airs now or like has already aired this is really holds the top spot but the ending i really don't know what to feel like it's sad but it is like 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 it's a feeling of helplessness that you won't be able to do anything like we got to know that spike won't stop he will like go run to his death and that's basically what he did after like julia died so unfortunately um yeah like <sighs> i don't know it's a sad way to go Like he himself know knew that means that he himself knew that what he was doing was not like the right way to do. Like he himself advised Faye and everyone to let go of their past, but unfortunately he was unable to teach that to himself. So yeah. Like he just like goes out like that just like that and we don't even get to know what happens after this like uh spike dies and that's the end now uh, no like what happens to ed ein um did vicious actually die or was he like injured somewhere else and maybe he's okay who knows um what happened to jet and what happened to Faye? did Faye like uh started like uh i don't know like uh going on bounty with jet uh, do they team up or like Faye goes on her own way and what about Jet what will Jet do like all of these things are kind of like not shown at all so yeah like the ending was kind of abrupt like uh, Spike dies and that's the end like that was I, I thought maybe they were going to show Ayn or and Ed a little bit at the end but they did not like that was the it like that episode was it that was the like end of uh, Ed and Ayn's story and Faye I also thought Faye maybe was we we're not going to see her again but like thankfully we got to see her these two episodes and I'm quite happy for that because as I said like Faye is like one of my favorite characters so her story ending like that was really not something that I would have been able to accept and it turns out like in this episode we saw that she learned her lesson and she even tried to stop uh, uh, spike from committing the same mistake and that makes her character even more like even better and i'm i'm glad that she kind of got a closure to her whole like past thing that she was suffering with i hope she got a closure i think she got it but unfortunately she was unable to like stop spike yeah guys so that is the end so as i said like this anime was amazing and um i knew spy like obviously cowboy bebop is something we uh, like hear from each and every person so this was something really good and uh, i really had a great time because obviously it had a lot of variations in everything the each and every episode was kind of unique and even though there were a few episodes which were, which were a bit slow but most of the episodes were so entertaining and so good like uh like something new each and every episode we got to see and i really liked that and uh, we got to spike's story at the end and the ending is kind of i don't know what to feel about it like it's kind of like that like um it's sad definitely sad but at the same time like like i really don't know what to f like feel about it it's kind of like that episode so yeah like like I, like I like I already knew this was coming from the beginning of the episode so uh, it just feels like a like a helplessness type of thing like when we know that yeah this character is most probably going to die and then in the end it turns out that they really died and i was not sure if he was going to die or maybe he was going to have a bad type of closure but i was thinking like maybe he won't get what he is trying to do like he won't get his wish fulfilled and it turns out that was the case
so yeah guys uh thank you guys for watching uh this was an amazing experience uh like cowboy beepa was something i always wanted to like watch but i did not have the time to watch it so uh like by making a reaction of it i also like watched it myself and you guys also got to like see my reactions so it's like <laughs> like so that is something that i really enjoyed and i am glad that i like watched this because obviously this is one of the classics of animes and as an anime fan um like i definitely <laughs> like you should have watched this a lot earlier but i watched it and also like another one of the classics is neon genesis evangelion which i also never saw i hope i think i'll probably react to it also in one of the future uh like when i get free time as well so like uh these classics i've not watched is something that as an anime fan i should never do so yeah like kaba beep up uh, i finished uh, seeing the anime and i'll also like watch neon genesis evangelion as well later on like these two are the only uh, like uh like retro animes that i still have not watched and that are kind of phenomenal so yeah so anyways guys uh i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction um this was episode number 26 the final episode of kaba beep up so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so yeah and uh like i don't know like back to back like disappointing episodes like which make you feel sad to disappoint not disappointed uh like uh what can i say like yeah that make you feel sad helpless these type of episodes are like happening uh like <laughs> friday uh, it was friday when i like reacted to kaba beep up 24 and uh, no 23 and 24 24 like episode number 24 really made me like so sad and like i did not want to think like know what was going to happen i thought maybe we won't get able to uh, we won't be able to see fay and ed again turns out we got to see fay but still then in the next day I kind of like reacted to grave of the five fives which really i don't know was extremely heavy and i really like uh, uh, took it in like it was something else and today this oh my god i don't know <laughs> okay so anyways guys i'll see you guys um Uh, yeah uh, i'll see you guys next week uh, i'll like uh, replace this show with uh, one of the shows that are going to air uh, like in january 2021 like january 2021 has a huge amount of animes huge amount of like mainstream animes that are going to like air so i'll try to do them and uh, so yeah i'll be replacing one of those with uh, like in this slot so yeah Anyways guys uh, I see you guys next week so until then goodbye and have a nice day